he does the oversweeper's reverse punch, what is the purpose of doing the oversweeper's reverse punch? He wants to hmm? off balance. Get him a little off balance. Anybody else? Distract him. Does Miss Does Miss Katra in class? Does she say, "Come on, hit him with your hands more," because that really scores a lot of points? No. We say that we know that that's probably not true. That you probably won't score with the hands. Not possible. But you get, you're going to get those hands in there, okay? You're going to draw his attention to this area, and that's going to make him kind of ignore this area. So you're going to go one, two, and three, and let three follow two as fast as possible. Show me. Okay? If you have a big break, you go boom, boom, and then kick, you think that's going to be more or less effective? Less. Less, right? What if we fall, pop, pop, boom, like that? You know, the foot just comes right after the hand. They're kind of like, oh, that happened, that happened. I mean, what, what just happened? I just got hit in the head. Okay? Go ahead and show us. One, two, three. Okay? Yeah. Pop, pop, pop. Go ahead. Lean forward. If he is very far, it's very far away as he does this, that's going to be a more natural kind of turn. Right? I mean, we practice on the pads and things, you know, from far away like this. But if he really crowds him like this, boom, boom, and then just can sneak that foot up to the side like that, it's a little bit sneakier, and it's probably going to be a little bit more effective. When people can see things coming, George, do, do they, they have a chance to react to it, and then, then it's usually not effective, they can either block it or whatever. But if it hits them and they're like, what happened? Then that's good, right? Okay, practice again for me. Pump, pump, pump. Mm -hmm. Again, pump, pump. One more time. Okay, come on. Second thing is going to, we're going to do